Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are ready to invest. Guys, I think there's a big investment opportunity upcoming today on this game, and I want to get you guys prepped and ready for potential prices that could be rising throughout this next week on FC24. So we're going to talk a lot about investing the market and upcoming content in today's video. We're going to take a look back at yesterday as well. I'm going to talk you through how I made a bunch of coins yesterday on Saturday with the crazy fluctuations that happened on the market and of course look forward to more road to the knockouts players in packs today and maybe that big icon sbc that we have leaked if you're excited for the video drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new let's go into yesterday's content first saturday didn't bring us as much hype as last saturday did you remember we had kudos a week ago yesterday we got the diego carlos premier league center back we had high hopes for this at least i did right three star four star four star on a, a center back for the weak foot's really good medium high mostly lengthy the problem here is the pace is a little bit low still i know they gave him a really nice upgrade and the links here are amazing the defending stats the passing stats even for short and long pass for a center back look really, really good. The physical stats as well look insane. But the problem here is the price, guys. 115,000 coins-ish to do this Diego Carlos SBC. I was thinking that this might have some big time market impact, but the card just isn't quite good enough, especially when you consider that upgrades aren't going to be coming for another two, three, four, maybe even longer than that weeks for a card like this with the wins and the advancing on in the different group stages um, needed to be happening for that to be upgraded. Guys, the SPC just isn't quite there. And I really think it's the cost. I was looking to see if this would cause any panic on a player like Rafael Varane or Eder Militao for a Brazilian center back or for Premier League center backs. And really, there was a bit of supply issue at content, but this Varane went from 80K at content back up to about 84K. Now, he is back down to about 80,000 coins, but this SPC isn't driving people to go and sell cards from their team like we thought it had the potential to do. Since it is a pretty big name player with uh, some FIFA kind of overpowered hype from years past and also some pretty good links, but that didn't happen. So that one's kind of just written off as an okay SBC, but probably not worth the coins for most of us. Now, also yesterday, we had more squad foundations, the NWSL. We had a Brazilian SBC again here with Angelina. Four-star, four-star, not a bad card, Cam and center defensive mid for this one. Some decent dribbling stats in there. And of course, paired up with the objectives under the milestones tab for NWSL. Guys, I think this trend is continuing. The squad foundations, they're just not it this year. I mean, we've had some decent ones. I think the Orsic is really good. The Benini for Liga F SBC was really good. But a lot of these squad foundations have just been more so for like fun. And they're really not even close. If you look to the players that are in packs right now, and we saw, right, when this team was dropped on Friday, all the insane stat boosts that EA gave these Road to the Knockout cards, none of these squad foundations even come close. And I understand those cards and objectives are free and they're able to be grinded out and they're from some of the other non-top five leagues, which is really cool. If you like those leagues and if you want players from them, that is sick that they give us the opportunity to get those. And I like those squad foundations for that matter. But I, I think that most of us see the squad foundation and say, not something that I really want to grind unless I have an affiliation with the league, the players, or any of the clubs that are shown from those just because they're not super close up to the power curve at this time in the game. So that's kind of my opinion there. Not bad cards yesterday for that squad foundations, just not really making it for me. Now let's talk about the market, right? I mentioned yesterday there were some crazy fluctuations and as it did happen, we had a lot of panic selling late into Friday night. We did see a bounce and oh boy, it was actually a really, really insane bounce. Now, right before um, I went to bed on Friday night into Saturday, that late night, Friday night time frame. So it was like early, early morning. I think it was like 5 a.m., 3 a.m. UK time. This gentleman's son was 75,000 coins. I picked up a couple of him right there at 75K. And just a couple hours later, as everybody gets up, the panic selling ends, right? This happened last Friday as well. We, I tweeted this out yesterday, and it might just become something that we look for every single Friday night of a new promo. Prices dropped on Friday, right? From content, we just had the huge, crazy market crash. Hyunmin Sun was 127,000 coins. He went all the way down to 75K. That was way too cheap for a one-day drop, right? Especially in the early doors of this game, at early stages. A lot of hype for weekend league demand, people building teams. This is a card that rebounded back up incredible amounts. And it wasn't just like Hyunmin Sun or Rafael Leao. Like all those, all of those cards, honestly, the whole entire market rebounded 
very, very well. You can see that the types of cards that I bought on Friday night. I bought some Di Marias. I bought an Acuna. I bought a couple of Grimaldos at like 28K, right? And now he's back up to 38, 39. I bought a bunch of KDBs at 55. He went up 10K a card. Griezmann, I bought at, um, let me look at his graph. Griezmann right now is back to 78K. Griezmann, I bought at about 67 to 68,000 coins right in here. He went all the way to 85. I sold him too early. I had some of these listed overnight. Uh, I sold that 80, 82 Griezmann for a bit more. You see, I bought a bunch of Musialas as well at like 31,000 coins to 34,000 coins and sold those for 45K. So this was kind of the, this is a perfect picture of what happened on the market yesterday on Saturday. Cards got way too low and really, really cheap late Friday night. They rebounded up as everybody got up on Saturday, got on the game, wanted to play some champs, and then stuff fell into the content drop. And then since the content was pretty mid, it went shooting right back up. But now here we are in the early morning stages again on Sunday today with squad battle rewards on the horizon. And some cards are back down just a little bit. So we had some crazy fluctuations yesterday you could have traded with as well. Even some of the promo cards in packs um, had some pretty crazy fluctuations. They rose nicely. Um, Modric was like 259, 260. He went back to 300K before he went back down. Rebounded after content to like from 250 back to 275. Guys, people really want to use these brand new cards. Like they're so insanely boosted and juiced that everybody wants to use them. And that's why you're continuing to see these cards go up and down. These are great cards to trade with if you time the fluctuations because look at this graph. Joao Pedro, 250. Boom, 320. Down to 250 again. Boom, up to 300,000 coins. Well, it's not quite 250 right now, but watch for squad battle rewards today with some of these road to the knockouts. Joao Pedro, Lewandowski, Acuna, Di Maria, Modric would be cards, and Usman Dembele. Some of those top tier cards are the more rare ones, and they fluctuate more on the market. Just look at their graphs. If you see them doing this, they're good to trade with. Now, I will say, Awar and Klaus, I do believe it is very possible, and maybe even Pepe as well, to chemistry style trade and lazy sell some of those cards. Awar, um, I bought two Awars at 15K on the late night hours when I was buying everything else, and they both had um, chemistry styles on them. I was able to sell them both. I only listed these cards two times. I don't know if Awar ever hit 20,000 coins yesterday on Saturday, but he ended up, okay, he hit 18K. I listed these cards. Uh, two times, right? I listed the first time and the 22k sold. I listed the second time through and the 20,000 coins sold. One had an engine, one had a catalyst. So with these cards specifically, lazy selling is working very, very good because people want to use these cards because again, they are just absolutely cracked. So that's kind of how the market worked yesterday. There was a lot of fluctuations and there was a lot of opportunity to trade to be completely honest. Now, other cards like some of these heroes, I traded with a Rudy Voller yesterday because he went down so much. But a guy like Company started Friday at 840K, and we had a big market crash like everywhere else on the market on Friday. On a lot of the gold cards, right? It was all like, oh my goodness, Shenman Sun, like we saw going from 125K all the way down to like 75,000 coins. Whereas some of these heroes didn't drop that much, right? But really, what happened yesterday on some of these higher tier cards is icons, heroes, some out of packs cards is it just took them a little bit extra time to get corrected on the market, but their prices did get corrected. Company went from 780 down to 660. Now these guys fluctuate. These are also great cards to trade in on the market. Like I mentioned, I bought Rudy Voller for 580. I even bought him a little bit too early. I ended up selling him for like 650,000 coins. He's back down a little bit right now. Ramirez, the hero card is down bad. So these cards are really good to trade with. It's just you have to trade in and out of the rarity. You have to watch the prices and also know which ones people actually want to buy and stuff like that. So great trades in the market right now, but prices are still mostly falling and they're still low. Like I mentioned, I'm expecting some a lot of these cards to stay pretty low apart from maybe a rise or two today or maybe on Monday tomorrow. I'm not expecting a lot of these cards. I'm not expecting Sun to go back up over 100,000 coins, right? I'm not expecting that at all. Any of these cards for what their prices were on Friday, I don't expect them to go above that or even really anywhere close to that because the market still is super crazy mudded. And whatever happened on Friday with supply of packs and, you know, whatever is going on in this game. I read through some of the comments of yesterday's video and how many coins you guys are on. It seems like, again, like we mentioned, that a lot of us are still in a coin range where 
it's a bit of a struggle to go and buy, you know, an Usman Dembele and a Rashford and a Leal, which is holding their prices back a little bit right now. When you only have a couple hundred K to play with, you can't be obviously spending a million coins worth of cards in a team if it's still early doors. EA didn't give us a lot of tradable packs this year to help us with our coin balances anyway to start off the game. And everything's been crashing. So people have been losing coins in that way as well. Now, one thing I'll say about the meta market once more before we move into the investment opportunity today, watch these cards again. The cards that went up the most and that went up the best yesterday, like this Hyunmin Sun, um, you know, I, I think technically Diaby did really, really good. He was like 32K or something like that. 34K, he went all the way to 42,000 coins. Watch a card like this, all right? It, today at Squad Battle Rewards, if there is a big drop, especially if it's a higher rated card, if that card is back down and pretty cheap again, even if it's like a lower rated one like Kolo Mani, uh, who seems to move every single day so well just because of all the hype that he has, what did he go to? He went from 10K all the way to 15, 16K. If there are supply, uh, if there is supply hitting the market today, which there should be with Squad Battle Rewards and a potential bounce after that um, in mind, I would look for some of these cards that are on the top of the popular page and that moved a lot yesterday because there could be more movements again today after people get another set of rewards. So definitely watch out for that. Watch the team of the week for that as well because those cards move really great. And of course, the road to the knockouts. But I would probably sell those before the content drop because today on Sunday might be a big day of content, guys. Yesterday was quiet. Maybe today is a bit bigger of a day. And that's why I want to start thinking about another investment that we can make during the rewards period today, which I think is going to actually be one of the perfect times to go ahead and do so. We're talking about SBC fodder. And I'm specifically talking about the first fodder investment of the year. If you want to call it that, if you haven't really invested in fodder too much before, which I'm not somebody who usually goes all in on fodder, but I'm seriously thinking about club stocking or just putting some on my transfer list for some of this fodder guys because once again the reason i think it's time to start stocking some 85 86 87 and 88 maybe even a couple of 89 rated players in your club and on the transfer list is we are getting closer and closer and closer to ea dropping big sbcs right and think about the leaks that we have right now number one we've got a David Beckham, Icon Player SBC. That would be one of the earliest Icon Player SBCs we've ever had in the game. And I think that would draw additional hype to this because Icons have better chemistry this year. This card is not going to be insane in game, but for the right SBC price, if he's dropped there, that could make fodder rise because a lot of people would want to do this SBC and craft it over the time that it is out. Again, we mentioned in yesterday's video the correlation to the real life documentary series that was just released on Netflix. EA playing into the hype of that a little bit. And today could be a day where this drops, right? Even if this doesn't drop today, I still think one of the best times to buy fodder will be today at Squad Battle Rewards because once again, you get that supply. Actually, if we take a look to last week, let's look at a random 85 rated. What happened during Squad Battle Rewards last week? um you can see here okay early sunday morning boom down on some of these cards they hit get hit with supply and nothing really went up a lot last week i mean wait 85s were 4.7k last week and right now here we are with florian verts at 3.7k now I understand that the saturday content as you can see here it did go up a little bit on saturday because of the kudus on some of these 85s i believe he made the market move a little um you know those prices went up but these cards are low yesterday the prices we were shouting for 85s and 86 is like they are at those prices and today at squad battle rewards is probably going to be a great time to get on bids and to stock up your clubs because not only do we have this sbc upcoming we've got more road to the knockout sbcs potentially dropping like a hector bellerin was one bergwine was another one a couple of sbc players that could be released soon and then also guys the voting for the Premier League Player of the Month has ended. I don't think we're going to get this SBC until this next Friday, which is going to be a little bit down the line. And probably we're not investing, you know, for that SBC right now. Maybe you are a little bit. That'd be a long hold for fodder. And fodder would probably drop down on Thursday during like marquee matchups. Again, for an investment opportunity there if you didn't want to wait this long. But that's a big SBC potential because it looks like Hyunmin Sun is going to end up winning this player of the month. Now, I know I'm a little bit biased on this, but based off the goals and the assist and how Tottenham is basically joint top of the table right now, and they've been playing well, I think Sun is going to win this award. Again, it's the contributions, right? The fan vote makes up like this percent of the award and these votes. 
It's the goals and the assists, but most importantly, the goals. And he had most goals out of everybody that was in the voting for POTM this month. So that's a massive SBC. That's an SBC that I'm probably going to buy some fodder for because I want to do that SBC, right? Upcoming this next weekend when we hopefully will see it released onto the game. So with all of this content upcoming, especially with Beckham and the Sun Player of the Month and whatever else EA would, I mean, want to release. I mean, guys, we've already had an 83 plus player pack we've had the team of the week pack that they released which i don't know when this is going to refresh or when it goes away upgrades let's see team of the week pack it expires in three days they could very easily also when the loan base icon player pick goes away do they drop the first actual upgrade pack of the year like a max something rated or a minimally you know you know what i'm saying like that we're getting close to that it might be a little bit early for like a hero pack or for an icon pack but guys, EA just seems to be accelerating everything this year, right? Golds are dropping off faster. More promo cards are coming in with higher rated boosts earlier. We've got bigger packs than ever in objectives, so we can go do more SBCs. I think this might be nearing the point where fodder is still very low from the early doors of the game, early stages. And it's probably going to be a good opportunity to start buying a few of these, hopping on some bids, hopping on some snipes, just like this right here. 6.6K for an 86 I'm going to send that to the club and send it to the transfer list because I'm very happy with that price. And you can probably even save yourself a little bit of coins if you just get in on the bids. And that's why I'm shouting out the squad that rewards time frame today, because I think there's a lot of upside on this type of fodder investment. Is there downside? I mean, yeah, technically there is a bit of downside on this because if we don't get good content this week, could SBC fodder drop lower? Yeah, it really could. Because if there's no demand, then what's what's to say that these cards would really rise up that much? Have 88s been cheaper? Yes, the first week of the game, these cards were definitely cheaper before the KDB and the James Madison came out for sure. But I think this is a great opportunity to get on some bids and to stock your club. Now, if you don't have a ton of coins, I would say I wouldn't put all your coins into this. Again, it's really, really crucial that you are smart with the coin balance that you have. Like right now, I've got 1.7. I'm probably going to put a couple hundred K into uh, stocking my club to get me ahead for either making some profit and being able to get an SBC done if I end up doing the Sun Player of the Month, which I hope to do when it drops. But also, uh, you don't want to run out of coins so that if you're trying to trade during the week, that you have no coins to trade with, right? So really try to think about, okay, I have this many coins right now. I'm going to put this much into fodder spread it out between 85s, 86s, 87s, 88s, and 89s, right? That's kind of the fodder range we're looking at here because all of the SPCs that are leaked right now could impact that range on the fodder. I mean, even look at cards from like yesterday on Friday into Saturday, even like the fodder bounced up. I mean, these cards were down to 9.7K where they kind of are right now. Magul was 9.7 late Friday night, early Saturday morning. And went to 11K, like all 87s went to 11K early Saturday morning as people got up and were going and doing SBCs and we're just getting more SBCs every day, right? We had a Diego Carlos yesterday, not that that many people were going and do it, but some people probably are and some people are still probably working on a player like maybe the um, player of the month, James Madison, or I don't know, what are the other SBCs? Jonathan David, people might be crafting right now. Coughlin is still available as well. So that's why I am kind of in on fodder. And I'm going to make some investments myself here and put some of these cards into the club because I want to have them there. And I think this, we might, again, guys, just be getting to the point where this is basically the beginning of fodder really starting to rise and be needed for SBCs as EA kind of crank up the SBC content pretty soon in this game. So watch during rewards today for some bids, for some snipes. Ooh, 9.2K for... Yeah, see, that, that, that was a good snipe right there. 9.2K for an 87 is an unbelievable price. And I think you'd be safe holding that throughout this next week because the SBCs are common, guys. And I do believe the, these prices can rise. That's the big investment for right now. That's where I'd be putting a good amount of my coins if you wanted to buy something and wait on it, right? I know a lot of you guys like to buy stuff, sit back, you know, have fun, play the game, and then just hopefully those cards rise. This is probably one of the first times where it feels most comfortable and I feel most confident in the SBC content of coming to make an investment like that. Now, let's talk about more content that is coming today on this game because we have a mini release. Sundays bring the mini release. They're probably going to bring more packs today as well. But the mini release players 
Um, it's going to be interesting today because we do have another, or at least we might have two. According to the leaks, there are two of the Women's Champions League players that have not been released yet. Bacha is a really massive card today. We're going to have to watch out and see how boosted that card is. And then Cuthbert as well, a Chelsea center mid. That could be actually a pretty decent card as well. So watch out maybe for, I think, is, is it Lawrence? And um, I know that one of them is Guru Ritan is fodder. Uh, already. That's crazy that Guru Ritan is fodder. But keep an eye on some of those types of cards today because, um, yes, Lawrence is a right back. Very usable. Those are the Chelsea Women's Club links. If that Cuthbert card is really good, that could be a card that moves some of those links really easily. Bacha could be cracked today. And then, of course, we've got Hinkape, guys. Hinkape is a card that is always seemingly overpowered. And I think that his base card stats and also with the way that EA have been boosting these Road to the Knockout cards, I mean, take this card and give it like a plus four or a plus five. We're looking at a really, really insane card. He's got really good play styles as well. Block, jockey, and slide tackle. He's got the left foot, which is kind of rare for center backs as well. Medium, medium is not the best, but you look at those stats and you give those plus fours, plus fives, plus sixes, that could be a really, really insane card. So keep a close eye out for Hinkape today and his card. And then we also should be getting Matic and Gutsa from this list of leaked players. Those are the ones that are not leaked as SBCs that we would expect to be in the mini release today. So it's looking like it's going to be a five-player mini release, which is a lot. We'll see if they change anything about that or maybe one or two of these players is incorrect. But usually four or five players for a mini release is a pretty sizable one. So watch out for that today. And also I'll say, guys, on Sunday, I think last week, they dropped a new pack in the store because of the mini release. And maybe it was 50k packs like refresh. I don't exactly remember what it was. When did the 50k packs refresh? Okay, the 25s and the 45s are going to refresh at content and the 50ks are still going to be there. I also could see EA adding, we talked about it in yesterday's video, the pack that can, that contains all the 80, like 80 cards in it or something like that, that are all like 80 plus rated that's still a potential pack that could be coming out too. So watch out for that. I would expect a one or two more packs in the store today because of the mini release finally being released. And then a couple of SBC content pieces. Again, that David Beckham could be an SBC we see in this game today. His price is down even further on the market. Watch out for that because that could be finally the, our first icon SBC. All the hype right now with the leaks is around this card. So keep an eye on that one. That would move fodder for sure if it was released. And then at the same time, we do have one more leak, I believe. Uh, Foot Sheriff tweeted out um, a leak of some of those evolution, or no, squad foundations, dynamic duos, right? They're, they're, not, they're not squad foundations, technically. It was the Brazilian lads from League One, Jeffinho and Henrique. That could be something that is today as well on this game. So definitely watch out for that. I'm not, ex I don't know. It's really today, the, uh, David Beckham SBC would be the make or break deal for the content today. Um, so that's why I think it's a good shot to get in on fodder. Fodder will probably rise up into content as people would be expecting it and investing a bit. Um, uh, but as long as you get fodder at those low prices, I think you're chilling and that's something that you can probably hold. And even if it doesn't go up this week, you could probably just keep holding for the next couple of days. And, um, yeah, guys, I think that's really the content I'd be looking out for today on this game. Again, if you're going to be trading on the market, watch for those quick flip opportunities, watch for those fluctuations because they will be there and you will have opportunities to flip those cards once again today with squad battle rewards so just make it quick flips be careful out there on the market and i think did i just reach a new level on the season um i'm very close oh yeah we're not quite there yet and 82 times two need that gotta get to level 22 i gotta go buy some fodder guys because i need some in the club and i want to do a little bit better about investing in fodder this year last year i would talk about it we would t like tell you guys hey this is looking like a really good investment and then I would actually like not buy it myself, but especially with this player of the month upcoming, I'm going to put some fodder on my tranche list and in the club because I want to have it for now, or maybe it's even all the way until next week when prices really start to go up. I made 200K yesterday from trading those cards a little bit over that. If I put that 200K right now in a fodder, hopefully that can turn into something greater later on. Also, one last thing I wanted to point out is um, evolutions and new evolution content uh, EA said that the Pacey Protector and Relentless Winger Evos have been extended and their new expiry time is visible now in game, which technically I could look at Relentless Winger because I have not done it yet. And what is, how long do they release it? Expires in three days. So they what, boosted it for like another day or two? Interesting. 
Hopefully we get new Evos when these go away. I don't know if EA is trying to like not have too many Evo cards all out at the same time, but I'm ready for new Evos. I think we all are. It's been one of the biggest and best additions so far. We just need new ones. All right, that's the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for new. It's been Nate for the count. See you guys in the stream today. Peace.